G'day and welcome to the Brits in the NRL round 22 review. Now, you've obviously noticed something different about this week's video. That's right. I'm in my daughter's bedroom this week, not my son's. Oh, you mean this? That's my uh, Sia Soliola Raiders wig in celebration of the Raiders' magnificent 22-18 come from behind upset win over the Melbourne Storm, which starts this week's Brits in the NRL because the men at the forefront of that amazing victory were the four Englishmen. Shosh Papali scored the match winner, but it was a magnificent effort from all four Englishmen and their 13 other Green Machine teammates. They had two men in the sin bin in the first 25 minutes and came from 18-0 down. Now, leading the way was obviously Josh Papali scored the match-winning try, but that all came off the brilliant work of the four Englishmen led by Josh Hodgson and John Bateman again. They are just doing it week in, week out. But Elliot Whitehead, I'm going to concentrate on this week. He had a fantastic game. Let's throw some stats at you. Uh, one try assist, 101 metres, 32 tackles, three offloads. The Raiders just kept coming at the storm and Elliot was one of the heroes there. Uh, John Bateman, 118 metres. Three tackle breaks, 39 tackles, two offloads. Another sensational game from John Bateman. He's just killing it week in, week out. Josh Hodgson, he probably was guilty of actually trying too hard. He was a bit rocks or diamonds this week, but he again, the best pilferer in the game, the Canberra Raiders strip club at it again. He got another one-on-one -on -one steal, which was a crucial one in the lead-up to the Papali try. Uh, Hodgson also did 37 tackles. And Ryan Sutton... 33 minutes, 98 metres. One tackle break, 18 tackles. And I wouldn't be surprised if he starts next week because Joe Tarpany went off with a rib cartilage injury. And that normally means a week or two out. So I think Ryan Sutton, it could be he'll be starting next week, I would think. A uh, massive game against Manly coming up. The Raiders are now rocketed up to third. Now for the Tigers. They lost 32-12 to Manly and Chris McQueen played a total of five minutes. Anyway, we'll move on. Uh, Callum Watkins. Uh, he went quite well, actually. The Titans were totally outclassed. No surprise there. They lost 36-12 to the Parramatta Eels. But Callum Watkins played 66 minutes, ran 111 metres, 41 post-contact metres, and one tackle break. Wouldn't you know it? I was bald underneath the whole time. Had you confused. Now, speaking of bald... Actually, no, there's no other bald Englishman playing the game. I wish James Roby was over here. I could maybe have a chip at him. Anyway, the Rabbitohs. Let's talk about the Burgess boys. It's not good news. Uh, they've slipped out of the top four with a 14-6 upset loss to the Bulldogs, who are charging home. The Bulldogs have won four out of their last six. Uh, the Rabbitohs, they're in trouble now. They've got Because they play the Roosters in the last game, they've got big trouble. And Sam, I'm pretty sure he hurt his quad again, which kept him out last week. Really late in the game, he was chasing back and you could just see him hobbling uh so how he goes midweek in training we'll see if he fronts up next week sam only played 52 meters but out of that 124 meters 40 post contact meters one tackle break 23 tackles another wholehearted effort from sam but it wasn't enough thomas played 37 minutes uh 94 meters 37 post contact meters Two tackle breaks and 26 tackles, so another big 37 minutes from Thomas, but the Bunnies are in trouble, and Wayne Bennett, well, they can't afford to sink any lower. They need a top four finish. It's really hard to win the NRL out of the top four, so they've really got to lift. Now the Dragons, they lost in a controversial late try to Bronch and Sherry's Sharks, 18-12. Now, James Graham had a really good game, uh, 136 metres, 41 post-contact metres, one tackle break, 20 offloads, 40 tackles. The big fella was in everything. It's not his fault that the Dragons lost that game. Gareth Widdop, on the other hand, was not at his best. He was a bit off. His kicking game was off, his passing game was off, his hands were off. It just wasn't a great game for Gareth. It was a pretty low game, to be quite honest, but yeah. Anyway, the Dragons, they're now stuck. I think they're down in 15th because of the Bulldogs win. And we'll finish off with Herbie Farnworth in the Intrust Super Cup in Queensland. 
Two tries in the North Devils, 32-10 win, win over the Mackay Cutters. Now, Herbie only played 41 minutes, so he may be injured. Uh, I didn't get any uh, research done on that to find out whether he is injured or not. I assume he is because he didn't play the full game, unless they're resting him. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, that's it for the Brits in the NRL. The Raiders, I salute you. Magic win for the Green Machine, and they're now running third, and the Englishmen are running hot.